Um, what happened on 90 Day Fiance this week? Angela's done with Michael. She wants nothing to do with him, pretty much. That's over. Wow. Uh, Jesse is still traveling to New York to break up with Darcy. Darcy thinks that they're not going to break up. It's going to be a whole mess meltdown next week. Karini seems like she wants nothing to do with Paul, but she's also pregnant with his child, so we'll see how that turns out. Well, they got pregnant him very quickly. <clears throat> yeah. Jimena seems pretty upset with Ricky. I don't think that's going to work out. Uh, I don't know. It seems like it's all right. I'm, I mean, yeah, Ricky's a bit of an idiot, but still. No, like, no, no, because he told her that he went to Colombia for Melissa. Right, but he's with her in the end. And does she really have anyone else? No. Yeah. What do you know about Jimena and what her life is like? Didn't she say, like, she needed Ricky? Like, she needs someone she to She doesn't her? need Ricky. Jimena's doing just fine. Are you kidding me? You would think so, but... No uh, one needs Ricky. No one needs Ricky. <laughs> not even Melissa. Especially not Melissa. Well, yeah, of course. Melissa definitely doesn't need Ricky. Yeah, yeah, Ricky. He sucks. Who else is on that show? Can we get to the tell-all already? That's, like, near the end, though. Like. Yeah, but are we at the end yet? Like, come on, man. The nice. show's going on forever. You're only like, what, eight, nine in? You know they're doing a new show? 90 Day Fiance. I forget what they're calling it, but there's a new 90 Day Fiance spinoff. So this is going to be like the fourth 90 Day Fiance spinoff, okay? There's going to be... So there's like... There's 90 Day Fiance, right? Original. Uh -huh. 90 Day Fiance before the 90 days. Okay. 90 Day Fiance happily ever after, right? Right. And now there's going to be 90 Day Fiance... Where they follow an American who wants to marry somebody in a foreign country, and they follow that American in the foreign country. I forget what it's called. I don't know what they titled it, but it's like another 90 Day Fiance spinoff. Which I'm like, isn't Nicole and Azen already that? Isn't that what uh, uh, Angela and Michael were this season? Yep. I don't understand. This is what, before the 90 days that we're watching? Yep. But, like, are Darcy and Jesse before the 90 days? I guess because they haven't had a K-1 visa, it's technically before the 90 days. But they're never going to get the K-1 visa. They're never going to be engaged to be married. They're never getting married. But they're still together-ish. Like, the 90 Day Fiance, the way they kind of set out the shows to be... Mm-hmm. They don't follow their own guidelines for the shows. There's all sorts of couples that are... Like, Paul and Karini aren't before the 90 days. They're married. Right. But you've seen in other ones before, too. They get married. They, they get should divorced. be on 90 Day Fiance happily ever after. Should they not? But they just started. That's why. Like, like what weren't Nicole and Azin on happily ever after? I'm not sure. I think they were on Happily Ever After, but they should be on before the 90 days, right? They should be on this show. Doesn't make sense. The 90 Day Fiance shows and how they title them and the spinoffs, they're all mixed up. I I'm not wrong about this. I know it doesn't matter, but I'm correct. Well, they just have their certain like couples for certain shows, and yeah, things kind of go awry or different situations, but... That's just the way, what happened, you know, they weren't planning it, it just it went down that situation, so they're stuck with it. Why would they just, you know, flip-flop the couples just because, oh, well, they should be in this kind of situation instead, they're after the 90 days. Well, couldn't they just put them on different shows? Uh, I guess they... I think it's the filming schedules, to be honest. They just kind of throw them up there on the show, like, whatever. And for the tell-all, too, at the end, like, I think a lot of them talk to each other, so... It kind of would throw that off as well. Somebody was saying something about the other one. I think John, the English guy there, uh -huh. he Wild was guy. like talking smack about Jesse on sure. like Instagram, <laughs> like saying that Jesse's just a really bad person. He's not wrong. <laughs> or maybe Ricky. I don't know. I love the tell all is the best part of the ninety day fiance experience for me. But that's it ties them all together. Yeah. And when you separate them, it just it screws everything up, so. 
you have to kind of keep them all together, regardless of that the situation changes. Even with, like, Angela. Right. Well, she's done on the show. I mean, this is her one season. Her and Michael are done, and then she's never going to be on the show again. But they'll be back for the tell-all. Yeah, yeah, they'll be back for the tell-all, but I'm saying in future seasons. Well, who knows? Maybe she'll meet somebody else? No, no, no. <laughs> That's not how it works. 